the mind well trained brings happiness. That's a good principle to keep in mind. Because if you wish well for your own happiness, you wish well for other people's happiness. You realize that has to come from training the mind. And if other people don't train their minds, how are they going to be happy? Well, you want to set a good example for them. This is really important, yet it's often overlooked. And when people behave in a good way, people behave in a skillful way, it, other people see it and they can't help but think. Now, it may take a while for them to think things through, but at least it's, they see this is something human beings can do. This is how we set a good example in our family, how we set a good example for our friends, and even people we don't know very well. You behave in a way where your mind is well trained. You look after your mind, find happiness that way. Because everybody's looking for happiness and they don't know quite where to go, so they look around and see how are other people looking for happiness. And if you set a good example by bringing your mind under control, this is why we meditate, then you are offering a good option. So let's try to keep that option alive. It's been lasting now for more than 2,500 years. We're going to keep that option going. It's by practicing the Dharma that we set a good example in the world. The Buddha never taught that you have to abandon your own true well-being for the sake of anybody else's true well-being. Of course, well-being for him means not having a loss in terms of right view, not having a loss in terms of your virtue. I mean, you may have to give up some money and you may have to sacrifice some of your health for the practice. And there are going to be other losses in the world. But those losses, he said, are not really important. It's when you lose your right view or lose your virtue. That's a huge loss. Because you lose and then you start setting bad examples for people around you. They lose as well. So remember to make, make sure that your virtue at least is well tamed. In other words, your thoughts, words, and deeds are well tamed. Your virtue is unspotted. Be pure in your virtue and that your right views are continually made right. Keep checking to make sure that you understand where is true happiness, where is true suffering. What do these things come from? They come from the mind. So you have to keep looking into your own mind. And in doing so, you encourage other people to look into their minds as well. 